Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a lesson on how to solve equations involving decimals. Okay, so in the upcoming few lessons, you're going to have to uh, solve for unknowns and deal with some decimals. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take a few minutes just to review um, how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimals. Now, I know you've done this before and learned this before, uh, but this is just a good review. All right, so you're going to take notes on a couple pages, and then uh, there'll be some problems for you to try, and then you can see how you did. All right, so just a reminder about how to add decimals. Okay, remember, when you're adding decimals, it's like money. So here we have 56 cents plus 39 cents. So you gotta make sure the decimals lined up, right? So they are. So nine plus six is 15 and carry the one. And five plus three is eight plus one is nine. And then what you do is you bring the decimal straight down, right? So that'll be 0 0.95, that's the sum. All right, so the key rule for this is you gotta make sure the decimals are lined up, all right? Same thing for when you subtract. Here we have 3.56 minus 2.28. So again, notice that the decimals are lined up. And now we have to take, we have to subtract, right? So I can't take away eight from six, so I have to borrow. Hit make that a four and make that a 16. 16 take away eight is eight. And now four take away two is two. And then three take away uh, two is, is one. And again, the decimal goes straight down, so it's just 1.28. All right, now the rules for multiplying are completely different than when you're adding or subtracting, okay? So here we have 67 hundredths times four tenths, and I've given you the answer. So again, the question is how do we get 0.268? Well, what you do is you do four times seven, which is 28, and that's where the eight comes from, and then we had to carry a two, and then four times six is 24, plus two gives you the, the 26, okay? Now, if you put a star right here, this is the key part. In order to know where the decimal goes, you look at the decimal point and notice there's two digits to the right of that. In this decimal, there's one. If I add up two plus one, that gives us three. And so we have to move over three decimal or three places from the right to put the decimal. All right. So if you turn the page, let's review um, how to quickly divide decimals. Okay, now this is definitely the, the hardest operation. So here we have 6.85 uh, divided by uh, 0.5. And so I, I set up the problem by putting the 6.85 inside the, the vision box. And a key rule is you can't have a number outside here. That's a decimal, okay? So if you notice what happens, I, I take the decimal and I move it over to the right one spot to make it five. But what happens is when you do that, you're multiplying by 10 which means you have to multiply this one by 10. So this right here is how you have to set up the problem. Now, the answer to this problem is gonna be the same answer as this one. And up here are the steps to actually solve um, to, to get the solution. So you gotta say five goes in the six one time. One times five is five, right? And you subtract. Six take away five gives you one. And then you bring down the eight to make it 18. And then you gotta say, how many times does five go in 18, right? And that's three. Three times five is 15. Subtract, you get three as a remainder. And then you bring down the five, which is right here, the red arrow. And then five goes into 35 seven times. And seven times five um, gives you 35 with a remainder of zero. So the answer is 13.7, all right? Now, if you turn the page, um, one nice solution, if, if you don't like to deal with dividing decimals, okay? Remember, every decimal can be written as a fraction. And what I, what I put over here is a table showing equivalent decimals and fractions, all right? And th there's a few that you definitely need to memorize for this unit of study, okay? And I'm gonna highlight the ones, I, I need you to do the same here, all right? So the, the really important ones are 0 0.125 equals 1 eighth, 0.25, equals one fourth. Point three seven five is three eighths. Point five is a half, that one you should know. Point six two five is five eighths. Point seven five is three fourths. Point eight seven five is seven eighths. And of course one is one whole. And there it is. Okay? So 
the truth is the more of, that, of these that you know the better okay but the ones that are highlighted are ones you have to know already okay and let me show you how it's useful if you know these rules so here we have 0.5625 divided by 0.875 now this would be kind of a pain in the butt to do uh, with long division okay but what, what I know is I can convert these into the, uh, fractions so 0.625 if you find over here here it is 0.625 is equivalent to 9 16 so I can rewrite this as 9 16 divided by now 0.875 that one is right here which is 7 eighths so we're gonna do 9 16 divided by 7 eighths and when you divide fractions remember you multiply by the reciprocal so it's gonna be 9 16 times 8 7 and now I can cross reduce right so make this a 1 and make this a 2 and now we multiply fractions remember you multiply cross so 9 times 1 is 9 and 2 times 7 is 14 and 9 14 is our answer so if we did 0.625 divided by 0.875 we get an answer that's equivalent to 9 14 all right so what I want you to do I want you to pause the video and try the your turn problems now and when you're done Hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Here are the solutions to the your turn problems now, okay? Um, I, I did the problems all out for you, so what I want you to do is, is go through your, your problems and, and make sure that you have the same answer as mine. And really important, if you make a mistake, try to figure out what you did wrong. Okay, I showed the steps for all the problems, okay, um, and hopefully did well.